Hello, this quick demo is going to be a guide on how to create a data quality rule set within Glue using CloudFormation. In addition, we will add a VentBridge scheduler to schedule rule set evaluations on the newly created rule set. CloudFormation allows users to modify and update the resources in their existing stacks in a controlled and predictable way. By using templates to manage their stack changes, they have the ability to apply version control to the AWS infrastructure. In this demo, we will create a simple stack within CloudFormation to then be ran to create a data quality rule set and scheduler to run evaluations on said rule set. Let's begin with opening up to our account and going over to Glue to see which table we want to add a rule set to. Here, we see we only have one table named Meteorite. Let's go over to data quality. Here, we notice that there's no rule sets currently attached to this table. Let's go ahead and add one using CloudFormation. In CloudFormation, let's make our way over to Stacks. In Stacks, let's create a new stack with new resources. Here, it asks us to specify a template. For this demo, I already have a template made beforehand. Let us take a look at it. In this template, we see two AWS resources being made. First, we see a data quality rule set within the stack under the name test CFN, with these rules being applied. Notice that the table under target tables is meteorite. Second, we have a scheduler within the stack under the name Schedule DQ Rule Set Evaluation. The scheduler will evaluate the above rule set every five minutes. Let us head back to CloudFormation. Here, we can select Upload a Template File. Let's upload the file that we just saw. Here, we can then click Next. We can specify stack details, such as name. Let's call this CFN demo. Here, we could also configure some other stack options, like tags, permissions, and stack failure options, and other advanced options. Let's review and submit. After a while, the stack we made will have completed. Let us go into Glue and see if the rule set was created. And as expected, going back to the same table, we see that there is a new rule set. Now, if we go into data quality results, we will notice that our scheduler has been scheduling evaluations for this rule set every five minutes. And these are the results as they load. You could also click your rule set and evaluate it manually as well. Also, we can go into EventBridge and see that the schedule to invoke data quality is created. We could go under Schedules and find the schedule that we created. If you click it here, we can disable or delete the schedule and also see what it's targeting and what API it's calling. 